Hey guys, welcome back to King's Outdoor Life. Quick update on the Bobcat ZT2000 here. And this is something I mentioned in some of the comments, but I wanted to come back and add this to a video. So uh, let me show you what we're looking at. If you look at this baffle right here, it fits up tight like so. So when it comes from the factory, it comes with this right here. And when I took it in for the first 10 hour maintenance, the guy there, I was telling him it didn't mow level on the short settings, like inch and three quarters. And he said, you could take this baffle out. So I've loosened it. And I'll show you, let me take this out. So there's two bolts that go here and here. So I've taken those loose. And I'll take this one loose here. So you take that baffle out and it opens up where the discharge is. So it allows you to discharge more grass and allow for faster cutting. And he says for more level cut. And I tend to agree with him. I'm not a hundred percent on my look, man. I love the level of this cut so far, but taking that out definitely helps. All right, let's do some other things. So we're here at the farm. Anybody remember this thing? Hope you can see it. It's the finish mower. I haven't used it this year, so I had to get all the dirt off of it and uh, kind of beat it loose here at the three-point hitch to make sure she's going to work. I got Lawson on the zero turn. We're going to have a little race. Which is faster, zero turn or finish mower? We'll see. All right, so here's the setup. Lawson's on the zero turn. I'm on the finish mower. He's got 30 feet from center of the barn to the edge of the barn. I've got 30 feet from the center of the barn to the other side of the barn. The zero turn is 52 inch deck. The finish mower is a 60 inch deck. So I should be cutting more per pass than he is, but the zero turn is probably faster. So we'll see which one works out better. The zero turn is definitely faster on the turns. I'm a little concerned, believe it or not, this finish mower is not a great finish mower. This, this grass is a little deep for the finish mower. So I may have to stop and back up and cover. But my guess is Lawson here is gonna miss some mohawks. So we need a penalty. You know what a mohawk is? When you miss on the side, you miss that little, um, little bitty narrow strike. So we're gonna penalize for mohawks. A second oh. a mohawk. Or, okay, one second per mohawk. Or you've gotta be sure you go back and get them if you miss them. All right, I'm gonna put it on time lapse and we'll see who wins. Or no, I'm just gonna leave it running video camera. And then we'll fast forward because it shouldn't take too long. No, let's do time lapse. All right, we'll do time lapse. We'll see who goes. expected loss of one um, he beat me by three full passes and it's a much better cut than mine these blades are all dull and everything so it doesn't cut the best I had to slow down to second gear because of the deep grass and bad blades I think if I could have stayed in third gear I could have beat him at least that's what I'm gonna tell him anyway all right let's finish up so just driving through showing you the cut here the Bobcat is a grass cutting machine. Super fast and really blowing through the grass. That stuff was deep to start with. Lawson had it set on two and a half inches and he was not even checking out. I mean, he was running wide open as all 14 year old boys do. And a lot better cut than mine did with that finish mower. And again, the, taking the baffle really helped a lot of discharge. It's been a really rainy summer here in North Alabama. In fact, record setting since they kept records not since 1900 as far as number of days it's rained look how thick and tall this grass is hope you can tell and lawson without me even telling him to he just kept mowing and he came down there in this thick stuff he kept the mower at two and a half inches and was just plowing right through this extremely deep heavy grass 
When you look here, you can see the amount of, I mean, just a rooster tail of grass he's slinging out through there. I'm telling you, the Bobcat Z2 2000 is a grass cutting machine. So I'm also going to leave to go to football practice, and I jump on the zero turn, and literally not 30 seconds. I mean, he's not even out of the driveway yet, and I put the zero turn into the fence. It's really steep right here, and once the wheels got on that side slope, I know that there's just enough moisture for what the case was, but it was a matter of half a second, and I was into the fence. Bent up the fence, couldn't get out, had to get him to get out of the car and come help me I so I ran and got the tractor and we snatched it out using the front end loader and my toe straps it was a good lesson for Lawson for me to say see we all make mistakes if you're running equipment you're going to have mishaps sometimes so just relax he gets a little worked up sometimes about being nervous about messing up but we all mess up I can assure you anybody who's run equipment has been stuck or torn something up all right guys thanks for watching Click like, subscribe, share these videos with a friend. Please comment below. Let me know what you think.